Hey, 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 here comes Johnny. Just kidding. Uh, welcome back, Ross Automotive, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, 2020 Ford Expedition Max Limited. Right? Uh, actually, I believe all the brakes are the same, and yes, it's another brake video. Well, I'll try to make, I'm going to try to make these videos a little bit shorter than what they've been. So, so what we're going to need is in the front, we're going to do brakes, rotors all the way around. I'm not going into the, well, continue. So what you're going to need in the front, you will need a 13 millimeter wrench, uh, socket, ratchet, doesn't matter. You're going to need a 21. So you can, once you get your caliper off, you can hang it up here. They'll, they'll stay up here perfectly fine as long as you don't beat and bang around. So the 21 is for the caliper bracket. So I started undoing that. These are coated again, as I mentioned that before. We want to do one piece at a time. Yeah, I should have got a power tool. It doesn't matter. And if anybody wonders, yep, pretty slick. Actually a good looking rotor, but customer don't want it. They want new, they want premium. What the customer wants, the customer's going to get. Now these here will have a substantial amount of torque on them. I forget, I forget what it was the last time I looked. So, uh, brackets, these are coated as you can see. They do have the zinc on them, or I, I guess it's zinc, whatever. Uh, these had thread locker on them, naturally, you know, uh, they're not going to be a breakaway bolt. You're not going to get it to break. Uh, we have to clean it up, same as always. Make sure your pins are actually moving free. Uh, 2020. I don't. I don't expect there to be a problem. We can throw them. I, I got a little sandblasting cabinet. I can throw them in there. Actually, clean it up real nice, and it doesn't hurt the finish. So, uh, I could do that. I don't know if I'm going to or not. But anyway, uh, these here don't have a. a, a I'm going to call it a set, set. Some sort of a set screw or anything like that. Uh, these don't have that. Uh, that's a beast of a rotor. Now these rotors here are big and like I said, it's not, I mean naturally it's got a lip but it's not too worn. Doesn't matter anyway, they want to replace so I'm not going to not gonna sit here and explain why, why we're uh, why we're replacing them. The customer wants them replaced, we replace them. It's just really honestly that simple. Uh, here again, uh, I'm assuming, well, 99% sure that this is a factory ro rotor factory setup. We'll clean it up. For those of you that watched my videos, you already know what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't, I got a grinder that's got a cup wire wheel. That's what I use most of the time. That's the best job that I can get. It gets in all the crevices here and we'll blast it with some fluid film. Once we get done, no sponsor. Let's move on to the rear. Say hi. Say hi. Or not. Now these are virtually gone. These here are going to be just a tad bit different because they have a electronic e-brake or well yeah e-brake they have an electronic brake on them so that's a little bit different on this so we'll have to have a uh, eight millimeter for the for the rear for the, the caliper itself and honestly I don't I don't remember what the rest of it is uh, the rotor I don't know that we need to necessarily remove the caliper bracket uh, now I'm probably not going to remove it there's probably no no cleaning necessary other than the slides themselves uh, you know you're going to put hardware anyway so uh, we're going to get the eight millimeter and loosen that up Now watch me be totally wrong, and it'd be a 10. What did I just say? Watch me be totally wrong, and it'd be a 10. I really swore it was a, but anyway, what do I know?
Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, these are turning. They're turning free. That's a good thing. Let me close you up. All right, so, driver's side, lower bolt, lower caliper bolt, that is, is a stud. The wire goes on here. Need to know that. Don't mix them up. Careful not to drop this assembly. Okay. So, uh, hmm. yeah, let me get you. Don't panic. I will get the uh, camera around here in just a second. Don't don't panic on me. These are gone, the other side, it's ground into it. So what I'm telling you is, the other side is better than a doornail. Then we'll try a little something. This is what the hardware looks like. Sits like this. All right. Pretty good and tight. So, same way on the top. You know, the, the spring clip, or the, the bigger part of it is toward the outside. So these, this bracket does not have to be removed. Uh, again, there's no set screws here. Don't use a brake pad. Well, heck, I grabbed the hammer, I was gonna hit it. Popped off. So, same here. Uh, vehicle is from Washington. So, it has seen its share of salt, I am sure. Um, same here. Clean up. And I don't, I honestly don't see no need in removing the, the bracket only to clean up behind it. Uh, we're not going to disturb it. I'm going to leave it just as is because I can clean this with no problem at all. Coated bracket. Uh, like, like I've discussed in other videos, uh, you see that more and more where they coat these brackets so they don't, uh, they don't go all to crap. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can show you. We don't want to drop this or do anything stupid with that, but yeah, there you go. There's your pattern. Uh, there is tool for it. One of them goes left, the other one goes right. You have to have, uh, and I'm not exactly for sure if there is a rental tool for it or not. You have to look it up. I can't tell you that. In any event, clean, clean, lubricate, lubricate, clean the back. You don't have to have much cleaning. And make sure that your rubber on the piston and everything goes in, folds in the correct way. Um, yeah, let me get that set up. All right, in the name of shorter videos, as I said before, I jumped ahead a little bit clean this up. From what I understand, it is not necessary, but if you have a scan tool, you can go into a service mode for the electronic parking brake. EPB mode. I have a tool, but like I said, from what I understand, it's not necessary. now. Very, very gingerly, and I mean very gingerly, they claim anything beyond, I think, 112 inch-pounds of pressure can damage this whole setup. We don't want that. Definitely don't want that. So very gingerly push that piston in. Like I said, clean your faces, which we did. I have yet to clean these, these rails for the hardware. So, 
one second I'll do that. The good stuff, not affiliated, not a sponsor. Smear it on there. And fluid film, absolutely not a sponsor. Get yourself a rotor. This is where you need yourself a big set of nuts. <laughs> so I just use these large nuts just to help me hold that whole assembly in place so I don't get aggravated. So we'll pull that up with the, with the lug nut. That'll hold it in place for you so we don't have to get aggravated with the whole assembly. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put, I'll put two of them on already. Some specially coated stuff. It's good. At least that's what they're telling us. <laughs> Extra special brake pads. Oh, I can tell you, uh, these brake pads is what, what, uh, what they're telling us. Uh, they're supposed to be some real good fitting and real good brake pads, so we'll, we'll see. I don't know. That's the first time, uh, first time I installed these here. I've never installed these before. Uh, well, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. I'm not going to make a comment on it, but anyway. So, so we got a hardware, and by the way, that fit very nice, and it, it slides really easy too. So uh, loving the way that, that slides on there. Uh, that It does a great job sliding. That's important. You don't, you don't want that to be bound up. When you bind it up, uh, it, it's going to cause problems. All right. Where are the wides? Okay, put the brake caliper back on. I undid the power, uh, the power line clip. Now, opinions like buttholes. Just, well, actually, that right there is what they want you to do with this. They really ask for you to discard these and put new on. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to. I, I, I linked the torque specs. I think they're 21, something like that. Uh, I, I'm not going to. They're going to go right back on. Uh, if you have a thread gauge, you can check your bolt to make sure these are not stretched. And there's nothing wrong with these bolts, and it, it, I think it's a waste of money. These are a uh, obviously metric bolt, 10.9. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty strong bolt. 10.9. Uh, that's somewhere in the neighborhood of a grade eight. Uh, the 12 point something. They they like a, a. Let's see. Did I get that right? There's a grade. 10.9 uh, would be a, a grade, grade five to six, and then. The grade eight would be a 12 point something in metric, something like that. It don't matter anyway, there's nothing wrong with these bolts. So remember the one, the stud on the bottom, the other one on the top. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna link the torque specs. I'm gonna link that up. Slip your, uh... don't forget to slip your wiring harness back on. Make sure that you, if you undo the clip, make sure you put the clip back in as well so you don't have a loose wire dangling back here when you got moving parts like that. That's not a good idea, but anyway, uh, uh, nice and free on that part. I've loosened this up already. In case somebody's wondering, if you don't bent out of shape, that this is nice and free right here. That's what we're after. So that same process, of course, goes for the other side. Now, uh, battery is going dead. I'm going to end the video right here. Nah, I'm going to finish it once I get the... Uh, nah, I'm just going to end the video right here. You know what to do. You know how I do it. Uh, anyway, this is a 2010 Expedition Max Limited. Not that it makes a difference. Zeus, um, stop. All right, so small correction on the rear. Now, I'm going to be the bigger man, and I'm going to tell you I made a mistake. Well, kind of, sort of. So, whoa, hang on. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Scan tool. Yes, it is connected. Uh, you go into the brake service maintenance mode, 
And once you're in there, you turn the ignition key back off. That is the only way you'll be able to push that piston uh, back into the caliper. So you can turn it in, at least I hope, because that's what I did. I got the tools out to turn them in, and that does work. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've done something I wasn't supposed to, but anyway, I'll reset. Uh, I will reset the brakes later on. So I did that. Went into the the. The service mode and they said it's very easy to push the piston in just like uh, just like you normally would so anyway okay once again I didn't make a mistake like I said I'm not I'm not gonna tell you you do it one way and then you don't have the capabilities of doing it and mess the job up that's not what this is all about I I knew the scan tool said that I didn't uh, I should have further looked I guess I read a little bit more about the whole adjusting situation. After the brake service is complete, the scan tool will actually adjust or tell the ECU to adjust the brakes. Now, uh, can you do that another way? Uh, probably so. I just don't know it and I'm not going to look it up because I have a scan tool. So you're kind of on your own on that one. Like I said, I can only say it again. I'm sorry that I almost misled you on that. Oh, made a lot of dust in here just now. I don't know if you just heard it, but uh, that was the uh, drill with the wire wheel going just a second ago. So I wire wheeled our hardware area. I guess I really should go ahead and put them on before so I don't uh, get the grease on the new rotor. Same thing, I use the ceramic, not a sponsor. Maybe a heated topic on whether or not you need to put anything on there or not. Uh, kind of, sort of, at the end of the day, I really don't care. It's going to get it anyway. In just a second. <coughs> wow. Our spring clip, or well, the that part of it, <laughs> it's outside, outside. So there's nothing on the inside protruding out. Ah, mighty. Here we go. Oh, I just lost the clip. Don't even know where that came from. Pause you up for just a second. So, with the clearance here, you cannot put these on the wrong way. They they will not work. That is not not doable. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some people out there that can manage to do it, but it, it'll be tough. So, got our brake pads on. Now, be very careful with this one. Out far enough, it's got good movement. Uh, torque them up to spec. I will link that in the video. And that brings us to another completed site. So, as I said before, I still got to do the other side, but I'm not going to film that. Uh, again, uh, sorry for almost misleading you. Uh, I'm still going to go ahead with the video, you know, I could just not post it, but I'm going to in case somebody thinks about doing it, so there you go, there is that, like, subscribe, comments, questions, concerns, you know where to put them, see you on the next one.